All right, in this lesson we get away from simple computation and what we're going to look at are usually word problems in our math book and the state standards tell us that these are concrete situations using integers. Concrete situations means like uh, situations that could be in, in real life. Okay, So let's take our first concrete sit situation and that might deal with temperature. Temperature in a cold place. So let's say it's Big Bear in the middle of winter and way up here at 2 p.m. in the afternoon it's a positive 36 degrees up in Big Bear. Now 36 degrees is pretty cold. It's only three degrees above freezing because freezing's you know 32 33 degrees so it's more like four four degrees above that now um, by 8 p.m. it plummets down to nine degrees by 11 p.m. oh now it's below zero and it's at a negative two and then at its coldest point at 2 a.m. it's a negative eight now usually this word problem is going to say how much did the temperature decrease from 2 p.m. in the afternoon to 2 a.m., its coldest point in the morning? Okay? Now, so what we have to do is we have to think how many degrees are above zero? From zero to the top, the top degrees at 36, that is 36 degrees. So this is really the absolute number from 36 down to zero is 36. But it went down a further eight degrees. And so the absolute number between zero and negative eight is eight. So if we take the drop of 36 here and the drop of eight here, okay, so that's negative 36, negative eight, and we get a total drop of 44 degrees. Now, if we, if we want to answer the question, how much did it drop? It dropped 44 degrees. Okay? So that's concrete situation number one. Number two. Oftentimes on tests, you'll see so something like this. It's a sea level and elevation problem where you start off on some kind of hill or mountain, it's so many feet above sea level. So let's say here, Skull Hill. You know, this is in Death Valley. Let's say it's 402 feet above sea level. Then somewhere in Death Valley, you know, it's, it's zero feet level because in Death Valley, it goes way down below sea level. So let's say at the lowest point of Low Valley, it's negative 81 feet below sea level. Now what the tests ask, what the tests ask is uh, this. If you go from the top of Skull Hill, how far in elevation will you go down to the bottom of Low Valley? Well, you have to pass zero here to get to negative 81, and you start out with 402. So there's 402 above zero, there's 81 below zero. So you're going 402, then 81. You add those two together, that's 483 feet in elevation. You walk down from going from Skull Hill down to Low Valley. Okay, here's a problem with money. All right, so here's zero, and zero re represents no money in your wallet, okay? You have no money in your wallet. Now, this guy, he starts out where he owes 25 bucks to his parents. He has no money in his wallet, so he is $25 in debt. Most of us can uh, understand that, okay? Then he mows a few lawns, washes a few cars, uh, does a little bit of babysitting in the next week, and then, oh, he pays back his parents, and then 
Now he has $52 in his wallet. So he paid off 25 bucks to his parents and he has $52 in his wallet. How much money did he earn over that, that week? Now, once again, here is zero. Now, he had, he had to earn $25 to pay off that debt. So there's 25 bucks he earned. Then he earned another $52 to get out of debt and then go above zero because now he has $52 in his wallet. So we need to add paying off the debt, 25, to getting money in his wallet. We add those two together. He earned $77 to go from 25 debt to 52 out of debt. Okay? Here's another elevation problem. Usually they say, okay, some golfers on a cliff over the ocean. Yeah, like this is real realistic. He's going to hit a golf ball off off the cliff into the ocean. Yeah, that's real realistic, okay? So, this guy hits a golf ball off the cliff. It goes into the ocean. Okay? This is real simple. So, above 0, the cliff was 57 feet high. So, plus 57. And then the ball went down 11 feet. So an absolute value of 11 feet to get down to negative 11. So you add those two together and you get 68 feet. The ball traveled from the cliff down to the bottom of the ocean. Last one. Uh, there was a certain Roman, Silius Maximus, who was born in Rome during the year 12 BC. Now here's the year zero. BC is before zero, so he was born in 12 BC. Now he died during the year 31 AD. B means before, A means after. So he died 31 A AD. Once again, here's zero. He lived 12 years before zero, 31 years after zero, you add those two up, 12 and 31, he lived 43 years. So he was 43 years old when he died on uh, during the year 31 AD. And those are our concrete situations.